Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing off a fun little decorated technique called the Cupidge. Um, today I'm going to be using it on my Les Paul guitar, which has been completely stripped of all the hardware and the paint job and everything. Um, you can really do this on anything, any type of wood, soft plastic, you know, decorate your house with it. Um, it's just a cool way to make your interior look cool and pretty much anything that you want to do for any arts and crafts thing. I thought it would be cool to do on a guitar because I had already done off the paint job for something else and I thought it would be cool to just redo it with comic book strips. So what I've done is I've gotten a couple of my Batman comics because I'm a gigantic Batman fan. and. I just kind of went through my collection and got out some of the ones that were like in the middle of series that I don't have entire ones of or like random numbers like 712 and like just basically insignificant comics that aren't of any special value and so I've got five or six here that I'm going to use and that's really all you need as long as you just cut out the pictures and you spread them out evenly for a surface that big. You probably, I probably won't even need that many but um, basically I've got some Mod Podge and I've also got some acrylic sealant that I'm going to be using at the end of it. And so, yeah, we're going to get cracking. Start by covering your surface with a coat of Mod Podge. Smooth it thoroughly and evenly with a sponge brush. If you go out a little bit wider than the comic book takes up, that's fine. It's a lot better to do that than do less than the comic book takes up and have the comic book's edges peel up. Also, if you can, contour the edge of the comic book strip that you're applying to the surface. If you'll notice, I cut a small curve on the right side of the comic book strip in order to make it contour evenly to the guitar's surface. After you're done, smooth out the surface with something flat so you can get on all the air bubbles from underneath and avoid it from peeling. In most cases, you're going to end up having to overlap your comics because most surfaces are uneven and aren't going to allow you to do perfect squares next to each other. If this happens, it's perfectly okay to apply Mod Podge over top of a comic book strip that's already been laid down, and then simply apply another comic book strip over top of it. This won't harm the comic strips at all. For tricky areas such as round surfaces and 90 degree angles, it's usually a good idea to apply the comic book strip to the surface before applying the Mod Podge. This way you can cut it out to contour it completely and perfectly. To ensure that your comic strips don't peel up, it's usually a good idea to, after laying them down, smear them over with another layer of Mod Podge, like so. This will ensure that in between laying them down and applying your final coat of sealant that they won't peel up or form air bubbles. It will keep them flat, level, and even. Also, it will make it easier to lay other column strips over top of them. Acrylic sealant is a great way to lock in your finished product and give it a shiny and professional look. Make sure to spray it evenly across the surface, not missing any areas, otherwise it'll look splotchy and halfway done. Alright, so here is the finished product. It's, as you can see, it's really, really shiny and that's because of the acrylic sealant I went on there. It came out really, really good. You can see some of the mechanics are already on there. I still gotta put like the um, peg heads in there and everything, but really, really liked this. I was able to find like the Batman logo and some new thing somewhere in there and use that as like the headstock label thing. So yeah, it's a Batman brand guitar apparently. But yeah, I could not be happier with how it came out. It looks really, really nice. It far exceeded my expectations, and it's a really cool project to do for you to do. Super cheap. I mean, you know, the Mod Podge and the sealant and the 
brushes and all that stuff cost me like 20 bucks. And then the comics I had laying around, but if you don't have any comics laying around, or at least none that you willing to cut up. I mean, most comic shops have like a $1 rack and you can get stuff off there and stuff like that. So I mean, really cheap, easy, fun project to do that makes you, gives you a really unique and product. So I'm probably going to do a tutorial later of like how I do the mechanics because this is actually originally was passive pickup so I'm going to make it active pickup. So stay tuned for that and yeah, hope you enjoyed it.